John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today I'm, I'm bringing to you the Yamaha Stage Pass 400i system. We've looked at the Stage Pass 600i. That was a two speaker system, built in amplifier, well, kind of, we'll call it a built in amplifier for our purposes, but it had the amplifier into the system, but it was a 10 inch 600 watt system. Now we're looking at the 400 watt system, which is the 400i, Stage Pass 400i. A couple of differences between the two. One, this is an 8 inch. The other, the 600, is a 10 inch. I thought there would be a huge difference between the two and I wouldn't like the smaller ones. I was surprised. Another, th another difference. Uh, both of them have a snap out, snap out control module. This has got the amplifier and everything built in, where this is sending out roughly 200 and change watts, out, well, the other one is sending out three. Um, one of the big differences, there's a couple of channels that uh, doesn't have as many inputs, minor. It doesn't. It has only a high and low on the, um, the equalizer. So if you like the high mid low, the 600 has that where this doesn't. Both have you know same out. Both have the the USB capability. Um, really, it's almost identical except for just a couple of minor minor things. And what's really kind of cool about this is it snaps. Here's the other one. It snaps in, and this is what I meant by a built-in amplifier. You could literally run from the speaker right to that with a little 12 inch jumper cable and you would have a self-powered speaker. It's not how we're going to run it today though. We're going to run, let's snap this back out, we're going to hook this up and we're going to run both of them plus I'm going to do something a little bit different now that I'm going to be doing with all sound systems and such. We're going to hook it into a kilowatt so we can show you what kind of wattage it's pulling out of the wall as we're pushing it. So I'm going to get this hooked up and we'll see what it can do. So to show you how quick this is to set up, I just all I've done is I've got my iPad hooked up to it right now. That's all I've done so far. I'll just set that down. In the back of the other is a convenient spot for our cables. Hook that back up. We've got our power cable. And we're going to plug that right into our kilowatt. Showing you this in real time. We run from and out on that little amplifier into one speaker. And just to show you that we do. Have sound. And now I'll hook up the second speaker. Shut that off. Oops, wrong way. Here we go. Okay. We are completely hooked up, ready to go. I don't have a second stand here. And the way it looks on the board, power in, speakers left and right, sound going in. I've got my main volume. I've got my oops, line volume. And I can adjust the I can bring the highs and lows, you know, I can mess around with those. Right now, at this volume, on Mr. Kilowatt, it's saying we're running at about 22 watts. What I like about these, and I've run these at a couple of events already, is I like the clarity of my microphone. I'm a big microphone guy. The highs are nice, the highs are crisp, but they aren't harsh. And the vocals coming through are great. Uh, bass, you've got an 8 inch in here, so really if you want to do much of anything beyond just microphone work or you know background music or mid-level music we'll call it, you're going to need a sub. What's cool about that is right, 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 right there at the very top, it's tough to see because everything's on, under it, but right here at the very top is tippering sleeve out. That can hook into a subwoofer. When you plug that in, what it does is it rolls everything off from the top, the, all the sub frequencies. I think somewhere around at 120. It rolls everything off from that on down, sends it to the sub, so this becomes a really efficient sound system because now this little 400 watt amplifier is just pushing the mids and highs, all of the bass is going through to the sub, and you got a really kind of a killer system. We've used it twice like that and we've been really, really impressed. But let's just check this out. We've got our music going. We're gonna push this, and we're gonna do the earplug thing because, you know, we wanna protect the hearing.
So that's the Yamaha Stage Pass 400i. Using, pushing by itself without the sub at about 60, let's call it 65 watts of power out of the wall. Sound wise and volume wise, we've got some real, we got some real thump out of these things. I'm really surprised at what they can do for eights. It's really kind of a winning combination. If you want to save a little money off the 600, the 400 is a great alternative. And again, you can add the sub and you've got a system that could handle a wedding up to 125 people without a problem. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.